Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with City of Liverpool, episode two. I am Sefian FM. Thank you for joining us. Today, really, there's only one reason why I brought this episode out, and it's simply who we're playing. Ramsbottom, United AFC. There was no way I was going to pass up an opportunity for this. I'm the league's director, Silas Ramsbottom. Bottom. <laughs> Hilarious. So we are playing Rams Bottom. This is literally our first, let me go to the schedule. This is our first friendly after our uh, crushing of our under 23s with, I mean, you can see Carl Noon already has a hat trick under his belt. Granted, it's still the under 23s, but they're still, you know, it, it's it's still a good, good way to start your season. So anyway, Rams Bottom it is today. So we do have a couple of things of note though. So we have a scout, Zach McCarthy in, Current potential, I believe, is six. P uh, future potential, is, or potential, whatever, is five. So, I mean, obviously not great, but you're, you're not going to get top quality scouts at this level. Uh, so we do have a scout. We do have a physio, uh, Carl Conrad, I believe. At the, uh, He's got a nine in physio, so it's the best I could get at this level. Uh, so hopefully, you know, I, I'm still not sure if I need anyone else. Uh, do I need another physio or another scout? Probably another scout, maybe. Um... But also, do I need a head of youth development at this stage? I don't know if I need that or not. So any comments down below, please let me know. Uh, I'm not sure what the typical or what the standard staff is for these types of lower league saves. So any hints you can get, uh, let me know. Obviously, the under 23s all grayed out. Don't really have anyone. There was a couple of players. I think Tuck was OK. Um, Rudge Wardell, I think, had an issue but in that first game. but. So they were okay, nothing too great. I haven't given them contracts at all yet, so we will see. But finances wise, we are we do have some some transfers in that I will tell you about in just a minute. But obviously we're up to currently spending 353 per week, committed to spending 293. Don't understand that, but we still have a payroll of 1017, not too shabby. We have plenty of room in, but with that, let's get to the transfers. Francis Kale Wanted to bring in, rejected the contract. I've got another contract in, uh, so we'll see about that. But look at this. Payroll available is 724, so we definitely have room for some good players. Uh, obviously, freeze. I'm not going to pay any transfer fees. But So you can see here, a couple of them are probably not the greatest. Sean Colton we brought in. Decisions and acceleration were the only good parts. <laughs> uh, not easy. Obviously, center back, central defender. Two star rating, not very good. You know, he, he'll be our backup. 31 year old backup, that's fine. Zach Alley did very well in the first match. Uh, obviously, four and a half star rating potential as well. Natural fitness of 15, which is terrific. Terrific pace, obviously, is average for this league. Strength at 11 is good. Termination at 14 is good. Penalty taking, he's probably going to be our penalty and long throw specialist, so. Uh, but he obviously midfield left and attacking mid left. So well, he's definitely going to get some game time. So I'm happy with him. Martin Pearson in goal. Got a lot of good attributes here. So aggression is, is good at 11. Command of area is 11. Very good. Eccentricity, whatever. Kicking at 11. Reflexes rushing out at 11. Strength at 11. So he's good. I think he's going to be our first choice. Uh, just looking at the numbers, probably our first choice goalkeeper. Um, however, Callum Hill is another goalkeeper. 15 jumping reach, aerial reach 13, tendency to punch 12. Mm, okay. Um, I think he, at 22 years old, he's probably going to be the backup. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, this is, again, this is the first friendly we're going to play. This is nothing too special. Um, I, you know, we'll see how they work. And I'm sure more transfers are going to come in. We'll just have to see. So Sam Hare. Out of 1847 Northwich. Um, let's see, he's got some good stats, some good physicals. 11 decisions is good. First touch, 12 is very good. Vision 11, uh, not too bad. Definitely going to be on the first, you know, on the first team. Three stars. Our scout is apparently on drugs, so uh, this guy actually looks probably one of the better players on the team. So obviously, besides the the couple that we already have in Kamasi. Uh, Carl Noon and Luke Denson, which we'll get to in just a minute. So Chris Richards is our last transfer in all the way up the left side. Five-star potential, three-and-a-half current, 
Acceleration, pace, very good, which is what we need when we're on a, you know, when we've got that left back, if we decide to play with more an automatic or an attacking left mid or left defender. So <laughs> we will have to see. But so far, that is what we have. Our squad right now is starting to fill out with some good star potential. Um, Callum Hill is injured. Where did that happen? A bruised jaw. He's only out for a day. whoop de do. So, but that is it. We've got some. We I want to fill it out more with more current ability because these guys are only. Uh, I, they're not even on a year contract. I mean, Zach Alley is. I don't understand the the contracts because my assumption was that when you signed a player, they were on for one year. But this contract contract info it expires never. Um, started the 17th, but it, I guess they can still be pipped by anyone. And if I offer, I've tried, if I offer a new contract to anyone, it doesn't do a thing. So, anyway. So that's it. Uh, that's what we're dealing with. Let's see. Anything else? Dynamics? Nothing's to, I mean, match cohesion is abysmal. Team's collective mental state is disappointing at the moment. I don't know what to tell you. Locker room atmosphere is already is average. Leadership support is very good, so that's terrific. Carl Noon and Luke Denson are both influential players. Anything of real note in here? Come on, hierarchy. Can you, can you load? Okay, so no team leaders. Supports. Okay, we got a couple supports. Zero, you know, oppose us, which is good. Social groups. Luke Denson is in the other group. That seems odd for a player who's been here for a year at least. Uh, so I don't understand what's going on. But overall, everyone's quite good to good to happy. Um, we're doing well. We've already had the team meeting, so. But let's get to this Rom's bottom game. Bottom. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> when you're playing a team called Rams Bottom, you, you gotta you gotta play a little minions there. So let's get to this game. It's friendly match preview. We're at, we're gonna be playing with a 4-4-2. It's standard 4-4-2 for the most part. We got two attacking wingers. Um, in both Alley and Denson. Denson, who is normally a right fullback, is moving up the pitch this time because Kamasi is a little better suited there. We got our new boy Richards here, Pearson in, in goal. Um, so basically, this is our team. Pearson in goal, Richards, Pickering, Colton, Kamasi in the back four, Alley, Williams, Hare, and Denson in the midfield. Neville and Noon up front. Uh, let's see if Noon can continue his scoring run. These are the instructions I have. I got standard mentality, flexible team shape, play out of defense. Play, well, let me show it right here. So we have play out of defense, uh, play a little wider, fairly wide, um, mixed passing. I kind of changed that here. I'll probably change that here and there. That's pretty much it. Normal tempo. Um, there's really nothing that I'm going to prevent goal, short goalkeeper distribution. Obviously, in lower leagues, you want to keep it as simple as possible. If you, the more that you throw at these players, the more they're gonna be like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, so, you know, I'm gonna screw up. So that's what's, what's going on, we're keeping it simple. I figured prevent goal, short goalkeeper distribution, hopefully the goalkeeper is not very good, so, you know, maybe he's gonna screw up here and there. Be more expressive, just go out there and have fun, let's see what it does. Uh, and that's it, so let's submit this team and get going. Ram's bottom. Hilarious. So, obviously, I have no idea who these players are, but they've got two player profile pictures and two uh, region pictures so Jay Wright and M. Paul Shot and Davies and, and P. Cowan so we're gonna have to see how those players are I am missing a player on the bench so we definitely have to pick up someone else so let's uh, I think we should try to encourage the team yeah I think we should too that's always a good idea so why should you be on the team let's kick it off so we are at home city of Liverpool in Boodle FC's home turf and is there sound? There is not sound. I gotta... God dang it, I gotta put the sound on. Ram's bottom. So, hair... Yeah, goes out to Denson. Who has a shot, but just wide of target. Let's see, can we encourage the team? So, this is going by real quick. Richards with the throw in, over to Alley. Up to Williams, who... There's no one there. I'm not really sure what that is. But Kamazi gets it into Noon. Ooh. That was a pretty good save. I mean, lower leagues, you're going to ex probably expect all kinds of random crap. But, so, they can't... Uh, I was going to say they can't <laughs> knock it out. 
goes to Denson, but then Denson kind of screws up and let's see, Colton gets the pick off and we're out of the, uh, so their first corner, oh, what a great save, set of saves, period. Noon gets the ball back all the way out to nobody. So Kamasi into Noon, back out to Kamasi, Kamasi, how, how am I going to pronounce that? So Williams is having some issues today. Maybe he's one of the first people I should try and replace. <laughs> Unless he's just having a bad game, I don't know. But out to Alley on the left. All the way into, no, Noon can't get it. But back into Alley. Denson, Luke Denson with the assist by Zach Alley. We're up 1-0 in the 39th minute. Right at the start of it, so. Very good. I'm loving the purple. Purple Brigade. Nobody's here. <laughs> There's apparently a lot of sound for nobody on the stands. So, but we lead 1-0, doing very well. Looking calm, we got a couple people. Williams at a 6-4, Hare at a 6-3, Noon at a 6-3. Interesting. So I'm going to have to change this up at halftime a bit. So Hodgson is our only change at halftime. <clears throat> we do have, uh, we are playing Hare at a different, instead of a, Ball winning midfielder, he's just playing a central midfielder, which is more his style, more what he's suited to. So let's see if that does anything. <clears throat> Martin cannot hit out Alley. Hodgson pulls it down over to Denson, our goal scorer. And nothing gets it stolen. Kamazi, though, is doing real well. I have to say. I mean, again, ooh, nice tackle by Pickering. Not Pickering? Nice. We've got a central defender right there. So, Kamasi right now is the one that's impressing me the most. Noon, obviously, not impressing me this game. Zach, oh! Right at the keeper. So, Kamasi throws it in Noon. Out to Denson, who tries to chip it over to someone. Did not work. Hair out to Hodgson. And that's, yeah. I don't know if he, I'm assuming he's trying for goal there. Uh, but to Burner, I guess is his name. So Hare picks up. See, this is where you're going to get a lot of issues on lower league saves. Hare, yes! 2 0 coming into the 57th minute. Very good set of play right there. So I don't know who this guy is right here. But Hare up to Neville, who has a terrific pass into Noon and an even better pass over to Hare, who just. Bypasses his defenders. Very good. Well done. I have no idea what I was trying to say beforehand. So, oh well. So Neville, yeah, Neville at six five. He's even getting worse. Um, I do. I need another striker. Another striker that's actually going to do real well. So noon was. Oh, that was a nice, nice set right there from Ramsbottom. So. Let's see what happens to our back line. Kamasi gets it. Hodgson doesn't sprint for it. And, yeah, these guys just let Williams in, and that was the end of it. So, but we have an immediate highlight. We got a long, long... Throws in, Ali gets his goal. The exact same play, but Ali finally finds his target. A little bit better of a pinpoint shot there. So, but look at this. Noon out to Kamazi. One times it all the way out to Ali. His defender just cannot figure it out. And actually, the goalkeeper just screwed up royally there. I guess he went down instead of <laughs> staying up on feet. But we're, we've got this going, I think. Pretty happy. I mean, I, yes, this is a, you know, a friendly. So nothing really to note. But I think so far we've got it going. And then that happens. So let's get these tactics going. <laughs> okay, so we're got a couple say subs in. Let's see what happens. So Richards passes it back to Pearson, who could not find a man in purple. And who's four? Colton just couldn't get back in time. Well, it's three two. Let's see if we can just hold it out for a little while longer. Nick, uh, make closing him down more. Sounds good to me. And the man himself. Thank you, Dalton. 
Oh, how is that not offside? Six minutes left. Can we hold on to it? Again, friendly. We should be... <laughs> I shouldn't be worrying too much. This is first days. Clifton passes it up to nobody. Passing. We got Maybe we got to do shorter passes. Uh, I know one of the big things in lower... Oh! Would have been great for... Who is that? Grant. But one of the things is a lot of pumping the ball upfield. Why are you guys not keeping it him whatever <laughs> that's ticking me off substitute why hello what's this got hair up to grant what and why are you still seeing this yep you're still seeing this uh, sort your shit out SI Great pass, great shot. Maybe I don't need a striker after all. I think Grant's gonna be starting the next game. There we go. Final whistle blows, four to two. We beat Ramsbottom. So goals by Denson, Hare, Alley, and Grant. So good spread of goal scoring. So good, we're off to a good start. We appreciate their efforts. I love that. I like what you did out there. So we're going to leave the match. Next time around, let's see, schedule. I will probably start with AFC Liverpool. How could you beat that? So the team that a lot of people <laughs> said I should have supported instead of City of Liverpool. Give a damn, my friends. So we'll see. That's probably the next episode. Then from there, I don't know. Normally I do once a month. So normally I would do you know AFC Liverpool. Then comes AFC Darwin. We'll see, it all depends on my recording schedule and what I can do. So I may blow through a whole you know, a whole slew of these games before the next time we meet after that. So, But anyway, AFC Liverpool is next. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and enjoy.